Hey everybody, it's Alex from Motoroso.com, your dedicated marketplace for all your mods. Now today we're in the studio and we're gonna do our first installation video on our 2019 Raptor Bolt-On Build Series. If you haven't been following along with the channel, make sure you subscribe now because we got a ton of great mods coming for this build. Now we're gonna be installing Anderson Composite's carbon fiber fender flares and fender vents in this video. And in our next video, we'll be installing the Anderson Composite's full carbon fiber hood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's gonna be a pretty Pretty straightforward install. We'll take off the stock ones, transfer over the marker lights, and install the new ones. We're going to show you everything step by step. If you want to shop for these products, we're an authorized Anderson Composites dealer. So hit us up on live chat or call us at 1-833-MOTOROSO. That's 1-833-668-6767. And we'll get you set up with some beautiful Anderson Composites carbon fiber. Let's go ahead and get started. Only a couple tools needed for this job, you're gonna need a panel puller, eight and 10 millimeter sockets, a quarter inch drive ratchet, and a small file. Remove the five eight millimeter bolts that hold the over fenders in place. then pull straight away from the fender while applying upwards pressure. Undo the wire harness for the side marker light. You can get more room by removing the clip from its mount on the fender liner. Remove the five eight millimeter bolts holding the fender liner in place. We found the easiest way not to break the yellow mounting clips was by pressing them out from the back of the fender well. Make sure to get the last black push clip out of the fender. To remove the fender vent, get a plastic panel removal tool and slide it in and pry away from the four corners where the clips are located. Install the new fender vent by lining up the four studs into the clip holes. Now we wondered why they didn't just use clips and then we realized that $400 worth of carbon could easily be stolen if they used clips, so they used mounting bolts. Using the supplied four 10 millimeter nuts and washers, tighten up the fender vent to the fender. Remove the side marker light and grommet from the OEM over fender by pulling up on the light while pushing from the back. Be gentle with the grommet just so you don't tear it. Install all the yellow OEM clips. some filing might be needed for proper fitment. Feed the wires through the new carbon fiber over fender and get the rubber grommet secured in the mounting hole and press the side marker into place, making sure it's fully seated. Reinstall the five eight millimeter bolts for the fender liner. With the side marker light securely back in the over fender and all your mounting clips in, reconnect the side marker connector plug. With the side marker plug back in, begin installing the over fender, making sure to get the rear portion slid into place above the side step and still in the mounting holes. Press all OEM clips back into place by making sure they're tight against the fender.
Now that your new fender is held in place by the retaining clips, go ahead and reinstall the five 8mm hold down bolts. Now moving to the back of the vehicle, remove the eight 8mm hold down screws. Remove the stock over fender by pulling straight away from the fender starting at the bottom. Remove the blue pop clips from the OEM over fender and transfer them over to your new carbon fiber fender. Again, some filing may be needed for a snug fit. With all the clips in place, you can now install the over fender back on the truck, starting from the bottom, in the back, and rolling forward, pressing all of the clips into place. Reinstall the eight 8 mm hold down bolts back into the fender, and you're done with the Anderson Composites carbon fiber fender flares and fender vents installation. All right, that wraps up our installation guide for the Anderson Composites carbon fiber fender flares and the fender vent. Everything bolted up really easy as you can see and it looks fantastic in person. The video is really not gonna do justice to how nice this product actually looks on the truck. So we can't wait to bolt up our full carbon fiber hood as well. We're gonna make a how-to installation guide video for that that's coming up next. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for that install and all the other 20 mods that we've got coming for this whole bolt-on build for our 19. Raptor. Make sure you subscribe to the channel too because we're going to be doing a C8 Corvette build. We've got our Mustang build going and all the mods you see us install on this channel are available for purchase at Motoroso.com where you can browse over a million top name brand products sold by trusted vendors at great prices and the shipping is always free. Thanks for watching.